sacred sapphemum. My name is too long. It scarcely fits on my name tag. And I'm named after a flower. Oh, pish, said her mother. Your name is beautiful and precious and priceless and fascinating and winsome, said her father. It's everything you are, said her mother. Absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt much better after her favorite dinner, macaroni and cheese with ketchup, and an evening filled with hugs and kisses and parcheesi. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that her name was Jane. It was an extremely pleasant dream. The next morning, Chrysanthemum wore her most comfortable jumper. She walked to school as slowly as she could. She dragged her feet in the dirt. Chrysanthemum, 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 she wrote. She even looks like a flower, said Victoria, as, chrysanth as chrysanthemum entered the playground. Let's pick her, said Rita, pointing. Let's smell her, said Joe. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. The rest of the day was not much better. During nap time, Victoria raised her hand and said, a chrysanthemum is a flower. It lives in a garden with worms and other dirty things. Thank you for sharing that with us, Victoria, said Mrs. Judd. Now put your head down. I just cannot believe your name, Victoria said as the students lined up to go home. Neither can I, thought chrysanthemum miserably. Welcome home, said her mother. Welcome home, said her father. School is no place for me, said Chrysanthemum. They said I'd even look like a flower. They pretended to pick me and smell me. Oh, pish, said her mother. They're just jealous and envious and begrudging and discontented and jaundiced, said her father. Who wouldn't be jealous of a name like yours, said her mother. After all, it's absolutely perfect, said her father. Chrysanthemum felt a trifle better after her favorite dessert, chocolate cake with buttercream frosting, and another evening filled with hugs and kisses and parcheesi. That night, Chrysanthemum dreamed that she really was a chrysanthemum. She sprouted leaves and petals. Victoria picked her and plucked the leaves and petals one by one until there was nothing left but a scrawny stem. It was the worst nightmare of Chrysanthemum's life. Chrysanthemum wore her outfit with seven pockets the next morning. She loaded the pockets with her most prized possessions and her good luck charms. Chrysanthemum took the longest route possible to school. She stopped and stared at each and every flower. Chrysanthemum, 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 the flower seemed to say. That morning, the teachers were introduced to Mrs. Twinkle, the music teacher. Her voice was like something out of a dream, as was everything else about her. The students were speechless. They thought Mrs. Twinkle was an indescribable wonder. They went out of their way to make a nice impression. Mrs. Twinkle led the students in scales. Then she assigned roles for the class musical. Victoria was chosen as a dainty fairy princess. Rita was chosen as a spiffy butterfly princess. Joe was chosen as the all-important pixie messenger. And Chrysanthemum was chosen as a daisy. Chrysanthemum the daisy, chrysanthemum the daisy, Joe, Rita, and Victoria chanted, thinking it was wildly funny. Chrysanthemum wilted. She did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She thought it was absolutely dreadful. What's so humorous? asked Mrs. Twinkle. Chrysanthemum was the answer. Her name is so long, said Joe. It scarcely fits on her name tag, said Rita, pointing. I named after my grandmother, said Victoria. She's named after a flower. My name is Long, Zong, said Mrs. Twinkle. It is, said Joe. My name would scarcely fit on a name tag, said Mrs. Twinkle. It would, said Rita, pointing. And, said Mrs. Twinkle, I'm named after a flower, too. You are, said Victoria. Yes, said Mrs. Twinkle. My name is Delphinium, Delphinium Twinkle. And if my baby is a girl, I'm considering chrysanthemum as a name. I think it's absolutely perfect. Chrysanthemum couldn't believe her ears. She blushed. She beamed. She bloomed. Chrysanthemum. 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 Joe, Rita, and Victoria looked at Chrysanthemum longingly. Call me Miracle, said Joe. I'm Carnation, said Rita, pointing. My name is Lily of the Valley, said Victoria. Chrysanthemum did not think her name was absolutely perfect. She knew it. Epilogue. Overall, the class musical was a huge success. 
chrysanthemum was absolutely perfect as a daisy. Victoria made the only mistake. She completely forgot her lines as the dainty fairy queen. Chrysanthemum thought it wildly funny and she giggled throughout the entire dance of the flowers. Eventually, Mrs. Twinkle gave birth to a healthy baby girl. And of course, she named her Chrysanthemum. And this was Chrysanthemum by Kevin Hinkies from Green Willow Books. Thanks for watching.